Hi, Wesley School. This is Pastor Jonathan, and I'm recording this from my home. Uh, and I hope you and your family are doing well as well, staying safe at home. By now, I'm pretty sure you guys are very aware that the world around us have changed, and that's because of the COVID-19 virus that is that is all over the place outside. Uh, and we're stuck at home. We're washing our our hands super often. School is closed. Uh, and we can't meet our friends in person. Events that we've been looking forward to, they've been cancelled or postponed. And we can't even go out and get a haircut. I mean, look at all this hair. So many of us, myself included, we can't wait to, for things to go back to normal so that we can get back to our own normal lives. But here's the thing. Many people are talking about this thing called the new normal that even though we hear people are going back to work, businesses are opening again, and eventually when school reopens. Even when school reopens, I, th I reckon things are not going to be the same as they were before MCO started. But here's the thing, many people are talking about a new normal, that even though we hear people are going back to work, businesses are reopening, and maybe and eventually, school may even reopen but even when they do things are not going to be the same as though before mco unfortunately that might be true things may not actually go back to the same way today i'm gonna share with us how we can adapt with agility to these changes that are happening around us before we do that let's pray lord jesus even as we learn from you, we ask that you open up our hearts and minds, that, we'll be, that we will be willing to listen, willing to change and be open to the circumstances and be willing to be open to understand the circumstances around us. Speak to us as we listen and read from your word. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, what is a death? Well, I googled it. Adapt, according to Oxford Dictionary, simply means become adjusted to new conditions. Then what is agility? Agility simply means the ability to move quickly and easily. Also from the Oxford Dictionary. So in other words, to adapt with agility simply means we need to be able to become adjusted to new conditions quickly and easily. I want to tell you a story from the Bible about a guy named Peter and a bunch of friends, they are called disciples or followers of Jesus. You see, Peter first failed to adapt but later managed to adjust to new conditions and later he became this amazing person whom God used to do his work. Here's the back story. Israel at that time was being colonized by the Romans. They were poorly treated they were, and the people were just looking forward to a prophecy that says someone from the line of their former king, David, will re-establish re God's kingdom in Israel and become king. Peter and the disciples were, like everyone in Israel, they were looking forward to this new king so that their struggles would be over. So they are looking out for this person who would be king someday. Then came Jesus who did many miraculous things. He was fulfilling prophecy after prophecy that tells the people that he was the king who the Israelites were looking forward to. And at one time, Jesus was telling the disciples about what is going to happen in the near future. That Jesus himself will be betrayed, he'll be hung on the cross and rise again from the dead, from the dead on the third day. Sometime later, while walking with his disciples to a place called the Mount of, of Olives, he said this, On the way, Jesus told them, All of you will desert me. For the scripture says, God will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised from the dead, I will go ahead of you to Galilee and meet you there. Peter said to him, Even if everyone else deserts you, I never will. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, Peter, this very night, before the rooster crows twice, you will deny three times that you even know me. 
But when the authorities came and took Jesus away, Peter did deny Jesus that Peter did deny that he ever knew Jesus three times. And that's when the rooster crowed twice. Then Jesus was hung on the cross and he died. On the third day, some women went to the tomb because they wanted to anoint Jesus' body and then this happened. Let me read for you from Mark chapter 16, verse 6. Verse 5, sorry. When they entered the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a white robe sitting on the right side. The woman was shocked, but the angel said, Don't be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He isn't here. He's risen from the dead. Look, this is where they laid his body. Now go and tell his disciples, including Peter, that Jesus is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there just as he told you before he died. So though the women were terrified, still they told Peter and the, the other disciples briefly about what had happened and that they and even though the women told them that, Peter and the disciples they didn't believe the women. Then at verse 14, this is what happened. Still later, Jesus appeared to the 11 disciples as they were eating together. He rebuked them for their stubborn unbelief because they refused to believe those who had seen him after he had been raised from the dead. So after being corrected by Jesus, Peter and the 11 disciples were told to stay where they are and wait for the Holy Spirit to come. Soon after, Jesus ascended to heaven. Remember Peter was the guy who claimed to never leave Jesus but denied to know him as soon as trouble came? Check out the new Peter after he received the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit came, he started speaking in other languages. The crowd who heard Peter and the others thought they were drunk and just started speaking nonsense. And this is what Peter had to say in Acts chapter 2 verse 14. It says this, then Peter stepped forward with the 11 other apostles and shouted to the crowd, Listen carefully, all of you, fellow Jews and residents of Jerusalem, make no mistake about this. And then he continued to tell them about why this has happened and about Jesus and the salvation that he brings. That's a huge change, changing from a guy who chickens out, who run away, and deny knowing Jesus to someone who speaks on behalf of Jesus. You see, like us, Peter experienced a crisis. The saviour he expected to overthrow the government didn't actually overthrow the government. Not only that, he also died a humiliating death, which is death on the cross. To him, all hope of being freed from suffering is lost and that's a huge crisis to Peter. There are three things we can learn from Peter. And here's the first one. Number one, accept reality. You see, Peter may have put all his hopes on a better country, on Jesus. Because of that, when Jesus told him and the other disciples that all of them would desert Jesus because he was going to be arrested and killed, but he will rise again. You see, Peter couldn't accept it. He was so shocked over the fact that Jesus predicts that he will, he will desert Jesus. And, and because of that, he totally misses the good news. That is, Jesus will die, but will rise again from the dead. You see, in the same way, we got to accept reality too. That our lives are not going to be the same from now on because of the outbreak of COVID-19. To paraphrase our Health Director General, Dr. No Hisham Abdullah, we gotta adapt to, the, to living in a new world with COVID-19 just like how we've adapted to dengue. With dengue, we were careful about mosquito bites. With COVID-19, we gotta be careful to practice social distancing just as one of the precaution steps that we take. You see, it may not be our fault that the virus is out there, but the reality is, danger is out there. The best action that we can take to accept reality is to do something about it. 
Which brings me to my second point, agree to adapt. Coming back to Peter, because he couldn't accept his reality, instead of looking forward to Jesus rising from the dead, he went back to his old life, fishing. But that's not what Jesus wanted for him, nor does Jesus want that for the other disciples as well. Peter's problem was that he could not adapt to his new reality. He just cannot accept that Jesus, who was supposed to change the world, died. So he refused to accept. Similarly for us, we may have been looking forward to certain events that, we've, that, that has been lined up for the rest of the year. Some of us might be looking forward to MSSWP. Some of us, the school concert. Still some of us, camps or any other events for that matter. If you've practiced really hard for any of these events, or your year 11 and, you've, and, you, and, you, and, you, and you would have felt like you would have lost even more. Well, if that's you, I want to help you process this a little bit more. If we, let's think about this for a while. If we choose to deny reality and refuse to adapt, so what's the alternative? I want to offer two to us. A. Wait for the next time the event comes. Well, that might be next year. By then, and if you are in year 11 right now, you would have graduated from school. So waiting for next year doesn't work. Doesn't work. Or B, demand the organizers to run the event this year anyway. Well, what if your friends get infected and all fingers point at you who demanded that the event go on? This might sound harsh, but the reality is that our leaders are, are now facing a very, difficult, a very difficult decision. That is, either to keep students safe and healthy at home, or risk students dying in hospitals because they were infected with COVID-19 at a school event. Well, however we want to see it, even if we can come up with many, uh, any other alternatives that we can think of, Anyway, we see this. This is a painful decision to make both for teachers and for students. So what can we do? Well, agree to adapt. Here's a little good news though. If we agree to adapt to online classes, to not seeing our friends in person for the time being, and continue to stay at home, we're going to have a blast and really appreciate our friendships when we, free, when we see our friends again when school reopens. For those of us who are in year 11, uni events are going to be bigger and more exciting than school events. How do I know? Well, I've been there and I know. For those of us not yet in year 11, we will have our chance in those events next year. Better yet, we don't have to wait a full year, and because this is May, we only have about 8 months to wait. Last but not the least, our third point is to adapt with agility. What did Peter do after Jesus died? Well, nothing but went back to be a fisherman and continued to be upset. In modern day, we might call it just, well, he went back to be a fisherman and continued to be emo. So much that even when the women came to him with good news, he couldn't believe them until Jesus appeared and corrected his attitude and the attitude of the other disciples around him. Similarly for us, we can't just sit around at home and just mourn about events that were cancelled or postponed. Pre but we got to prepare for the day when school reopens by keeping up with our studies. If you're into sports, exercise and keeping yourself fit is an awesome way to spend time. Just search for workout on YouTube and you will literally find tons of videos teaching you how to, how to do that and to maintain fitness. And staying alert for news on the current COVID-19 situation, that helps a lot too. So that, when, so that we are aware of the changes that are coming and when they do come, we are, when we are already used to moving and changing, we can jump into those changes 
to move quickly and easily. And that's being agile. So when school reopens and activities resume, we're ready. And we can jump straight into action and being better than before MCO started. I just want to close with this. You see, there is one event that happened after Jesus ascended into heaven that changed Peter's life. That changed him into a man who is bold and courageous, whom God used to share his good news powerfully and perform miracles. That event is called the Pentecost. That is when the Holy Spirit that Jesus promised came and filled Peter and the other disciples. If we want to be changed in such a radical way, all of us need to accept our new reality, agree to adapt, and adapt with agility. Even though we understand this, some of us might still be hesitant or are too worried to move on. Well, friends, I just want to tell you that only God can give us that confidence and that boldness to step up and face our new normal. If that's you, wanting confidence and bonus, I want to invite you to pray with me. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I understand that the world has changed and school will change too because of COVID-19. I'm disappointed that many of the things that I look forward to have been postponed or cancelled. And I understand that the world outside has changed and I need to adapt. Please help me to adapt to this new reality the way it is. To agree to adapt and to adapt with agility. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.